Hey y'all, welcome back to the Engadget stage at E3. Uh, we're here with Adam Bonte from uh, Konami. You're the, uh, tell us a little bit about your role before we uh, introduce you here to the public. Yeah, sure. Well, I work on the product and I work on brand as well, um, on like a global level. Um, a lot of work working with the team in uh, Tokyo, um, over in Japan, who are the main dev team. Um, they do a fantastic job, working really hard every day and night. I, I try and do the same. And we're really excited to bring you guys uh, PES 2018 as well to the show. So obviously we're here to talk about Pro Evolution Soccer 2018. So you know, I'm excited about it and tell us what's, what's new this year. What's, uh, what are so we excited about? It's so difficult to say what's new actually and what isn't new. I'm not just saying that like a marketing term, but to be honest with you, what we're talking about at the show is this new three year cycle for the product. We had PES 15, 16 and 17, which had this consistent thread. Um, they look better every year, they play better every year, but there was this kind of minor difference when you compare in 17 to 18, which is a brand new game. We've redone the visuals, we've redone the animations, we've added new modes, brought back old modes. We've got new 3v3 online. We've taken PC to new gen. We're doing an online beta this year. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. We still haven't announced so many things as well, like more legend players, more items, more content. Um, so it's been a really busy show for us. Certainly, I think in terms of the headline of the show, we've got two main things. One of them, I'm not sure if you know, but we've managed to sign Usain Bolt for the game. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so he's now uh, an exclusive pre-order item. It's supernatural. We never really knew, um, or we never planned to bring him into the game. It actually just happened from a conversation during the football match. Mm. We met his people. And within a few weeks after that conversation, we were in Jamaica shooting a trailer, 3D scanning and stuff. Um, he's a huge fan of football, yeah, fan yeah. of Pez. Um, hopefully, he's hoping to get into actual football as well uh, when he uh, retires from athletics. So that's one thing. And the second thing I mentioned briefly was the online beta. Um, we really need to improve the online of the game. And we're reaching out to the fans to sort of make sure they're aware that it's, it's in our commitment to PES 18 to really improve online. So at the end of July, we're doing an open beta on PS4 and Xbox One. We're gonna test the online. Hopefully it goes well. If not, we do promise everybody that we're gonna use that data to uh, create a day one patch to make sure that it's working perfectly for them. One of the things that uh, when I went to go check out the game yesterday, you mentioned that you, you didn't want to just improve the gameplay, right? Usually your focus is always like gameplay, like making the gameplay better. But like yeah. the menus have changed, they're much smoother than last year, or even like 16 or 15. Can you talk a little bit about, yeah. about that? Yeah, I think I think the thing is, Pez has always been known for the gameplay. So the more that we talk about it, the more we become a, a consistent voice. You don't hear anything new from us. Sure, the gameplay might improve massively year on year, but if you're always hearing, yeah, gameplay is great, gameplay is great, you start to think Pez is, is a little bit one note, even though that is perhaps the most important area of the game. So we've really focused on the visuals, we've really focused on the animations. We've really focused on changing your perspective on PES. It's not just about the game anymore. The game looks fantastic, it moves fantastic. One of the major changes that we made with the visual look is the redoing of the animations mm -hmm. from the flow in between them, but more importantly from the base layer, which, which means that the way they walk, the way they turn, the players, the way they go from walking to, to jogging to sprinting is more animated, it's more realistic, it's less awkward. And, and we've really focused on making sure that when you see Pez, even if you don't play it, but you're walking past someone playing it, you notice it looks completely different from last year. And you can see that it's a completely brand new game. But what's really important is that the DNA is still there, the individuality of the players, the teams, the feeling of the players, all that is still there because that's what you know the fans really, really want from Pez. So, if you know the the big elephant in the room is obviously FIFA, yeah. um, and what do you like in terms of you trying to get you know make your own game better, uh, as I'm sure they're doing too, right? Uh, what do you use from do you, and do you use anything that, like learn from their, what they're doing to uh, make your game better, or is it just? I mean, it's competition is always good, right? But absolutely, I think where we both benefit is that we're kind of the pioneers in this genre. We're the only people left. Yeah. Pez, two years ago, celebrated its uh, 20th anniversary. So we've, we've kicked on from there. We've been around long enough where people realize that we're doing really well for ourselves. So I think it's to, it's to make sure that we stay true to our DNA. And I think that's how 
Lopez back in the day when it first started, it, it grew. I mean, this series was never that kind of uh, uh, title where you saw loads of TV ads and money being spent on marketing. It was always a game that was played by the people who, who love football. And I think it's what's really important is for us, to, for us to stick with that and to bring people over in clever ways like we've announced the 3v3. I think that's going to be really important where you can bring your friends over together because sometimes you might want to come over but it's kind of difficult to switch mm -hmm. because all your friends are playing something yeah. else. That's not just about you know FIFA versus Pez, that's in general. So we're hopeful with the 3v3 mode we can cultivate this sort of clan friend system where you, you and your friends can take on the world, play online together, have fun together, experience Pez together. And we're taking that into Pez League as well, so if you want to play a casual or play for really big prizes, you can do that too. Winning 11. Exactly the original, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think, you know, we've talked enough. I think we should uh, get some uh, gameplay going. Nice. Right. Okay. Cool. Well, let's see. Uh, hopefully your colleague here takes it easy on me. I hope not. I want to see loads of goals. <laughs> so what I want you to focus on here as well is just naturally how the game is looking as soon as you start it. Compared to last year, what we've done is we've made the players a little bit smaller and we've panned that camera out a little bit so you get to see more of the pitch. And that viewpoint is a very, very different per stadium as well. Oof. The goalkeepers are fantastic as well. <laughs> what you saw there is the keepers are more aware of where the ball is going. They're safer, they're making more saves and they're pushing it out of danger as well. So what you're going to see from, from here is a corner kick. One of the main things that the fans asked for was to take away the, the uh, guideline mm. to, to make it much more like a simulation. So here you actually still have the same kind of control where you're sort of holding the crossing button and then from there is the left stick to, to put some curl on it. Oh, wow. fantastic goal. You saw, you saw Torres as well score the header <laughs> yeah. and straight away put his arm out. We've put a lot of emotion into the game. It's alive, he's happy, he scored the goal, he's looking for his teammates. To the goalkeeper go across as well. I feel like this is a setup. <laughs> well played. <laughs> but, what you, but what you saw there in the replay as well is when you're showing the replay, it slows down on those key moments, the key pass leading up to the goal as well. He's not giving you a chance here. Oh, no, no. So here you can see, one thing that I'm hoping everyone can see watching actually is the, is the pace of the game. It's really slow and we've yeah, slowed yeah. it down. It's not like frustratingly slow, but we've slowed it down because again, we get a lot of feedback about keeping it realistic. Yeah, and it feels um, more realistic, right? When it's, yeah, when it's slower. We, we've, we've done that in a few ways. So the first thing I think is just to play away. It's like the dribbling style. Ooh. Tight Come angle, on, tight Come angle. On, but and <laughs> I think with that, with that dribbling style, what it allows us to do is to, even though the players are heavier, it allows them to, to accelerate away with that, with that weight because you can wrong foot players who are also heavy as well. I'll give you a chance here in the corner. Anything, uh, anything to share in terms of uh, licensing or any new teams that are coming, new leagues or anything? I know you not have the right Champions now. League, right? Yeah, exactly. Not right now. Yeah, we're still the uh, exclusive license holders of the UEFA Champions League. Um, and I think the main thing at E3 for us to show, which is you as a stadium that you're playing in, it's the first time anyone's seen it, never mind, you know, in terms of real life as well. No one's actually seen a match in that stadium, so it's great to have it here. Um, in terms of licenses, we tend to always wait until we get closer to launch. We usually use Gamescom show, which is usually at the last week of August, to announce all those things. What I can tell the, the viewers right now is that we're gonna add more teams, and it's all positive news. Um, I think everyone's gonna be really, really happy, not only with the licenses, but also with some of the legend players that we're working with as well. Yeah, you have, can you talk a little bit about, I know Diego Maradona is coming, you announced that, right? Exactly, yeah, well, I mean, it's no real surprise we had him oof, we had him last year but i think what's what was really nice about it is that we could reinforce the fact that we are working with legend players and also to sort of give a tease to a lot of people that we will be working with the biggest legend players this year and we've got some really really cool announcements as griezmann oof, hotline bling <laughs> uh, that's great Stay tuned to Engadget.com. You can read all about Pro Evolution Soccer 2018 on the website. We'll be back with more.